Miss Turkey. Oh, I can't <laughs> have a melon yet, Bert. No, it's just Miss Turkey and one of the girls who escaped with her this morning. Yeah. Let's let everybody else out. Shaky chicken. Okay. We're getting ready to make some pork chop biscuits for supper tonight, y'all. I wanna go ahead and get them sliced up. Walmart didn't have the ones I ordered, so they substituted and gave me these really super thick ones, which are great, you know, if you're just gonna have pork chops, like on the grill or just, you know, any kind of just pork chops. But for the pork chop biscuits, I don't want them to be that thick. So I'm cutting them off the bone. I also wanted them to be boneless. So I borrowed Titus's knife here because this one will very easily slice this meat and I can cut them in half we'll be ready to make the pork chop biscuits later. I already have this part done. Uh-oh, I think he just got home from work. He's gonna come in and see me using his knife. He doesn't really care if I use it. He's just afraid I'm gonna cut my finger off. That's what he's afraid of. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have pork chop biscuits with fried potatoes and pinto beans. And I'm gonna make some, I'm gonna cook up some onions to go on the pork chop biscuits with a little sauce that we're gonna make to put on them too. This actually was a pork chop sandwich recipe, but instead of using a bun, we're gonna use a biscuit. I think we'll put a little bit of seasoning on these pork chops too, since I've already got them cut up and I need to put them in this bowl anyway. Uh, yeah, I think Daddy put it down in the shed for you. We're just gonna put a little salt and pepper and some of this wood-fired garlic on them. See, I've got the beans already building up pressure once they start, they're just gonna cook for an hour, then we do a 20 minute slow release. So when they're about halfway done with the cook time, we'll go ahead and make the biscuits, then we'll do the fried potatoes and the pork chops. We still didn't get any snow or anything around here, just the cold. I'm getting this knife washed up real quick. I'll link these down below. This is, now they have something on the box. Titus keeps them in the boxes that they came in. The one came with a case, the really big one. It came with a leather case, but they're hand-forged knives. This is the name of them, Eno King, I guess. They're great, but yes, very, very, be careful. Just be careful, just be careful. <laughs> you don't wanna slip with that knife at all. All right, pork chops are ready. Oh, and y'all, I gotta tell y'all about these chickens. They are laying eggs like crazy, and normally, you know, in the wintertime, they don't lay that much. The Isa Browns do always. I mean, they lay throughout the winter. I mean, it, they might slow down in the wintertime. Now, in the spring and summer, some of the Isa Browns that we have lay two eggs a day. And then through the winter, they slow down to one a day, sometimes just every other day. But these Easter Eggers, I didn't think we would get any eggs from them throughout the winter. I thought they wouldn't start back until spring again. But they are laying some eggs. We take turns, you know, feeding and watering them. Well, it was Sissy's turn, so she went out the day before yesterday, and she didn't get the eggs she came back and she was like oh I forgot the eggs and I was like it's okay we'll get them tomorrow because we had plenty in here and they won't do anything to them none of our hens are broody a lot of people ask you know will they hatch baby chickens they would since we have roosty I mean they it's possible that they could hatch some chicks but none of them are broody like we don't have any hens that want to sit on their eggs so if they don't sit on them no baby chicks happen Anyway, so I told her it'll be fine. We'll get them tomorrow. Well, yesterday, Tyler went to get the eggs, and he came back with a cowboy hat full. Some of y'all probably saw him at the end of yesterday's video. He set his hat on the table. He didn't take anything out there with him because he thought it would just be maybe three or four eggs he could grab, you know. It was 11 from two days in the wintertime. So when spring gets here, we're going to be in the egg business. <laughs> Somebody else asked the other day how long can the eggs stay out without, you know, putting them in the refrigerator. They can last a few weeks out. I've told it before, but just in case, you know, you hadn't heard. They can stay out for, ours probably only stay out about a week and a half most of the time because, you know, we just go through so many eggs, it's time to rotate them. But they can stay out a few weeks before you have to wash them and put them in the refrigerator. And in the refrigerator, they'll last for a long time, you know, just like eggs you would buy at the grocery store. They'll last for a really long time. When the hens lay them, there's a protective coating on them. And as long as you don't wash that off, they can sit out at room temperature. So that's why I don't wash them when they're just sitting over here. Now, if some of them are extremely dirty, 
I'll just go ahead and wash those and put them in the refrigerator. But ones that aren't, you know, these aren't terribly bad. I don't wash them yet because they can stay out at room temperature and they're fine. But once you wash them, you wash off that protective coating and you have to refrigerate them after that. But yeah, I'm so proud of these girls. Look, we are running out of room in this tray and having to move over here. It looks like springtime if you look at the eggs. Whenever you're uh, out of the big marshmallows and only got minis, this is what you do right here. You just cram a bunch of them and put your peanut butter on first. A lot of people would want to do this the opposite way, but that's not the way you do it. This is the correct way to do mini size marshmallows with peanut butter. His hands are clean. I know that's hard to believe. That's really good and it stick to your ribs. Stick to your lip too. Where's your marshmallows mainly? Like father, like son. Right there. That's his. He's been carrying these. You can take a spoon. I yeah. can demonstrate with a spoon and a fork, see which way works best for you. That's the spoon method. <laughs> What that is on my hands is a, a sealer that I put on horses' hooves. You probably should wear gloves. I don't wear gloves, folks. He I has wear safety some. glasses and earplugs. He has gloves in his trailer, I but he doesn't. That's a good little snack right there to hold you down for one hour. Yeah, I just told him supper be ready in an hour. We're making a double batch of biscuits tonight. First batch of potatoes is started. I've got the oil heating up in this pan for the pork chops. While that's heating up, let me go ahead and take them out of the refrigerator. Check on my biscuits. Looking good. We're just gonna put a little salt and pepper on the potatoes. I'll finish slicing these while the oil's heating up for the pork chops. Anytime I make fried potatoes, there's always somebody close by waiting on that first batch to come out of the pan. <laughs> Well, folks, what you do is you sample these first few. Mm -hmm. Right here. Make sure that it's safe for thy family. Right, the first if it's batch. not, let it take you out, not them. I bought her that pan a while back, y'all. Yeah. And she didn't want to use it at all. This one over here, I'll show it to y'all in a second. I mean... She did not want to use that pan. Nothing sticks to it, does it? No, yeah, it's a really good pan. <laughs> Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. For that pan. <laughs> this one right here. See how it looks like um kind of like maybe the cups that they would serve things into the king, you know? That kind of deal. Pork chops, Your Majesty. <laughs> king Xerxes, fashion. The best we're gonna both do for your day, old buddy, is gonna be uh pork chops. Now we're gonna give you a bunch of them. All right, pork chops are done. Now we're just gonna take some onions. I just sliced them up like this. We're gonna put them in the pan. I took out most of the oil that was in there that I cooked the pork chops in. I just left a little bit. We're just gonna cook these onions. I have one more batch of fried potatoes and those get done. Then I'll make the little sauce. It's just mayonnaise and a little bit of Dijon mustard mixed together. That's it. Smell them. 
getting off the elevator. <laughs> We went to the beach, just Grandma and me. Look at Grandma with her beach dress on. She's styling, look at her. <laughs> <laughs>